Hello YouTube universe, this is Hydra Ninja 9 and I just want to make a quick video on this new Sony product or really developer kit that was just announced and a lot of people are being very critical about it and I kind of have to agree with them. As much as I would like to say, well this is a prototype and move on, I don't think that Sony should have released this because it's not ready. And I don't know why they released this, perhaps it was some internal mistake or internal environment or something like that, some kind of issue there, but they shouldn't have released it. Because while it is a great design and has a lot of interesting things that are really innovative and unique, it's also something that's not there yet. And the reason why I say this is especially with eyewear. eyewear you're either doing it for medical purposes or you're doing it for fashion purposes and as far as I can tell the Sony smart eyeglass the Sony smart eyeglass is not a medical product it is a fashion product it is a technology accessory so it definitely needs to look the part and it does not from these pictures it looks disgusting I'm gonna be honest here it has a lot of potential though and it it's definitely something that I feel like in the future if they work on it if they tweak the design if they make it good then it can be the next Walkman it could be the next PlayStation but they need to change many things and I'll go over that right now and a lot of people are gonna be thinking hey you're super critical you're a Microsoft shill etc etc I'm a self-proclaimed Sony fanboy so this is just tough love but anyways let's begin so first thing I have to say it looks ugly I'm gonna be blunt here it looks ugly it feels like a prototype it looks like a prototype and it's something that Sony people were expecting something better from Sony and I definitely don't think that people people don't see this as like a Sony fashion product you know Sony products have their own look they have their own feel and this definitely seems something very off. It doesn't seem well designed like other Sony products. It doesn't seem. It just seems like, like weird. And the reason why I say this, well, really just weird. The reason why I'm saying this is mainly because of the way the glasses look. They don't even look like glasses. They look like goggles, except with glass a glass frame. And that's really weird looking it looks really strange and I don't know whether that's due to the components or whether that's just because it's a prototype but they need to change that it looks awful it's not something that I'm gonna wear and a lot of people are gonna agree with me it's like it's worse than Google Google Glass and you have to be pretty bad at <laughs> designing eyewear to be worse than Google Glass and I certainly have other qualms with it for example its name its name is really bad it shouldn't be smart eyeglass that's a mouthful a lot of people that's not memorable it's just nothing unique there it needs to be something unique something that people will remember like iPhone like Xperia like Galaxy stuff like that people will remember that but I don't think people will really or even PlayStation people won't remember smart eyeglass it's just too much of a mouthful and I, I think they're trying they might I'm not gonna say anything what I think is they might have released this under a prototype name like smart eyeglass and then try to they might try and differentiate it from the actual prototype because a lot of people are saying very negative things about it so that just that just might that's just my theory a game theory but I don't know it might be plausible it might not be who knows so I definitely do like a lot of things about this concept too. It definitely gets some one major qualm I've had with Google Glass. It doesn't look like they don't look like glasses. They don't it doesn't it look it looks really weird. It looks really nerdy. And these actually look like glasses. So this gives Sony a better opportunity to fix the fashion to include better design and to make it look amazing. So people people will buy glasses if they look amazing. I mean, just look at Raybon. Raybon glasses don't even look that good, to be honest. They just have the Raybon name and people buy them. It's a fashion brand. Same with Apple. But they definitely do need to have that. 
they they have a better chance of doing it than Google does. And I've seen really horrible attempts by Google to try and make their glasses look cool. No, it's 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 gonna be really hard to do that. And I do like the battery design. I really think it's interesting to have the battery in your pocket. But there shouldn't be a wire. If there is any wire from the battery to the glasses, Sony would have to be insane. There's no way they're doing that for the final release. But what I think would be cool if perhaps Bluetooth charging, something like that, maybe have like a Bluetooth connection or some some technology like that that allows you to transfer uh, battery, all the battery stuff into the the actual lens the the smart glass instead of just using a wire instead of just putting the battery in the le in the frame that way it's a lot less thick and it's a lot thinner and it it'll just be like better overall and i definitely think that they need to have a they need to add i feel like they should try and add like a nano sim in there or a micro sim or something like that to have Bluetooth, not Bluetooth, to have wireless co wireless connections, wireless compatibility, all that stuff. Now, a lot of people might be saying, well, this is just supposed to be an accessory, right? No, I think that, I personally think that the, the nomenclature of just really smart wear, like smart glasses and smart watches, etc., etc., as accessories for smart phones are limiting them they have the potential to be greater than smartphones they have the potential to be more popular than smartphones but yet nobody's gonna buy an accessory people want something that can do something on its own like people aren't gonna buy a 300 400 dollar accessory for their phone people are gonna buy something that does something on their own that looks cool that looks awesome and I feel like Sony should try and change it up a bit and to still have that feature of connecting to your phone but also to have it so that it gathers information on its own and maybe then a lot of people might not even use their smartphone because who really cares to use their smartphone when you can have most of your notifications most of your apps a lot of your apps on your glasses there really wouldn't be much need and it'd be something like Similar how we have like laptops and desktops today. Sure, they still exist, but there's becoming less and less of a need to actually have them every single day as smartphones and tablets become more and more popular. Granted, they're never going to die out, but it certainly is something to, to think about. And I definitely hope that Sony takes my advice. For the first time ever, I'm actually going to have a business inquiry email thing, so be sure to email me for anything, for really anything at all. So that's pretty much it. I really, really hope that Sony, Sony has the potential. They have the potential to make this into the next Walkman, the next, well, really the next best thing, the next big thing. I don't really want to use Samsung rhetoric here, but it, the next big thing, they have the potential. This could be greater than the iPhone. If they time it right, if they make it look good, if they market it right, if they have celebrities using it, then this could be bigger than the iPhone because Sony knows how to make premium products. I mean, just look at the PlayStation. Just look at the look at the PlayStation. Look at all their TVs. Look at their high-end cameras. Look at all their the Walkman. Look at their even original products. They're groundbreaking for their time the Trintron TVs, all that different stuff, they have the potential to make this into the biggest thing ever. It's just that they shouldn't have released this prototype. But who knows, maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong, maybe this product will fail. But I certainly do believe that Sony, Sony is one of those companies. They could pull it, they could put a car, they could pull a card out of their hat and then magically make this into the best thing ever. I definitely think it's true. But anyway guys, that's just my opinion. This video has been 10 minutes long, so it's probably really long for a lot of people. But let me know your opinions in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Hydro out.